everyone welcome back to a new video of doctor medicine in today's video we will be discussing about the salbutamol so salbutamol is a beta adrenergic receptor agonist which is used to treat asthma bronchitis COPD as well as the symptoms like cough wheezing and shortness of breath and to prevent exercise induced bronchospasm so salbutamol is a short acting selective beta 2 adrenergic receptor agonist which is used in the treatment of asthma and COPD most commonly. So since salbutamol is an beta receptor agonist, it can act in both beta 1 receptor and beta 2 receptor simultaneously. But it is more selective for beta 2 receptor than the beta 1 receptors giving higher specificity for the pulmonary beta receptors than the beta 1 receptors that is the receptors located in the heart. So salbutamol is formulated as a racemic mixture of the R and S isomers. The mechanism of action of salbutamol. Salbutamol acts as a functional antagonist to relax the airway irrespective of the spasmogen involved thus protecting against all the bronchoconstrictor challenges. Salbutamol relaxes the smooth muscles of all airways from the trachea to the terminal bronchioles. Activation of beta 2 adrenergic receptors on airway smooth muscle leads to the activation of adenyl cyclase and to an increase in the intracellular concentration of cyclic AMB. This increase of cyclic AMB leads to the activation of protein kinase A which inhibits the phosphorylation of myosin and which ultimately lowers the intracellular ionic calcium concentrations thus resulting in relaxation. The increased cyclic AMB concentrations also inhibits the release of bronchoconstrictor mediators such as histamine, leukotriene from the mast cells in the airway. A measurable decrease in airway resistance is typically observed within 5 to 15 minutes after inhalation of salbutamol. The maximum improvement in pulmonary function usually occurs 60 to 90 minutes after salbutamol treatment and significant bronchodilator activity has been absorbed to persist for 3 to 6 hours. The common uh, salbutamol side effects may include feeling shaky and headache and if the headache continues, speak to your doctor or ask your pharmacist to recommend a suitable painkiller. The other symptoms uh, or side effects like nervous tension, muscle cramps, palpitation are usual. If any of these uh, symptoms become troublesome, then uh, the patient is advised to speak to the doctor or clinician immediately. The uses of salbutamol. Salbutamol is indicated for the symptomatic relief and prevention of bronchospasm due to bronchial asthma, chronic bronchitis, reversible obstructive airway disease and other chronic bronchopulmonary disorders in which bronchospasm is a complicating factor and uh, it is given as an acute prophylaxis against exercise induced bronchospasm and other stimuli known to induce bronchospasm. And salbutamol is available in various dosage forms like syrup of 2 mg, tablet 4 mg and it is also available as an inhaler. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video useful, please do like this video, share to your friends and subscribe to Dr. Medicine.